Alright guys, it's been quite the while since I've made a video, but hey, I am back. I have time to make a video, at least for right now. So, hello everyone, and let's begin. What's up guys, it is I, the Apple Buyer here today, I'm back with a brand new video for you all, and today, I'm doing something pretty easy, pretty simple, to start off with another week of videos, and that is, what is on my iPhone? Now, I did do a video similar to this back in July, and obviously, this is not the first time anyone has ever done this. The What's on my iPhone series has been done over and over and over by many other YouTubers on the planet, and you know what, I kind of joined on the bandwagon because my previous video did fairly well. You guys seem to be interested in it. The reason why I didn't do um, August was because mainly I don't like to do monthly what's on my iPhones because there's just not much that changes with my iPhones. Sure, there's maybe more photos, maybe more music, but that's about it. The apps, I don't usually download that many apps, so it's usually just like one app added or one app deleted, which doesn't make enough to me to make a whole video about it, but I feel like this time around, enough has changed for it to be interesting to show you guys what's on my iPhone. So the first big change that has been made with what's on my iPhone is the fact that my iPhone is no longer an iPhone 6, it is a 5S. I'm I'm not going to go into why it's a 5s and not a 6s or something like that but here you can see my wallpaper and all that good stuff and if we go into settings in general and then about you can see right there 10.3.2 is my iOS version it is a 32 gigabyte and you can see all my music photos and apps also just so you know as well I will be using QuickTime and the screen recording feature for the iPhone just that way you guys can see the iPhone better and everything just that way you can get a little bit better of a view and just a better experience overall alright guys so here we are with the iPhone 5s we have the screen recording going and everything so here we are on the first page of my iPhone and obviously we have all the stock applications that I would normally use so um, this phone is on Verizon of course and that is my main carrier I like Verizon they're a good carrier your opinions may differ from me but that is who I use so um, phone FaceTime camera photos all the stock apps you already know what they are I do use the notes app for all my notes mainly just for music and that kind of stuff but it doesn't look like I have any notes saved right now because there's no music I want to download, but that's usually where I put all my uh, music I want to download, like where I list it. So moving out of there, of course, contacts, I won't go in there, but of course, that's where I keep my contacts. Wallet, I don't really use that. Um, with maybe a newer iPhone, I'd use Apple Pay, but my bank doesn't support that. Find my iPhone, that's obvious. Messages, um, that has all my messages on there. Mail, obviously, that's for my email and Safari is my main browser and then music I'll go into here and it does take a little bit to load I don't use this device for music but I do you know keep music on here just in case if you know the situation comes around where I don't have my iPod and people are like oh play that song then hey I at least have it there so um, I, this isn't my main music device I use my iPod touch first generation for music but, you know, I still do keep music on here, just because why not? So, obviously, here, this is where things get a little bit more interesting. Here, I have all my third-party applications. I don't like to keep things on a second page. I like to just keep things as organized as possible. So, here we have my, or did I say second page? I meant I don't like to keep things on a third page. I just like to have, you know, two pages, and that's it. Then maybe, like, one folder with all the other stuff. But here, we have photo collage, Instagram, YouTube, and Telegram. Uh, a lot of these apps here I don't really use on a daily basis, but Instagram I use daily, YouTube I obviously have to use daily, Telegram I use daily, um, Studio I use daily, Verizon I don't use that daily, but I use it frequently, Midwest America is my banking, Google Drive is where I take care of all my uh, uploaded fo files, my personal files at least, I use Mediafire and um, Mega for you know YouTube files and that kind of sharing, but for personal stuff I do use Google Drive, Aviary for editing photos, Jungle Web Browser, I honestly don't really use that anymore, but it was a really good service to download uh, videos off of sites that don't allow you to download videos such as YouTube and Twitter and etc. Simple Note is my main note taking app. This is where I keep all my notes at and stuff and everything. Good stuff there. And then, you know, AdSense, that's where I, I don't really use that app anymore, honestly. Um, eBay is where I buy all my iPhones, so that's obviously a necessity. Battery life, this is what I use to keep track of all my battery info for my devices. 
Um, on the older iOS versions, it's better, but either way, obviously here I have 16% battery wear. Um, Mac Tracker, this is a really good app that I've been using for a while, which tells you about every single Apple device that's out on the market. So whether you go to the original iBook or the original um, classic Macintosh, the Macintosh 128K, the iPhone 7, I don't even know honestly. Here we have all the current devices. There's just literally everything that you can think of on this app. And then if we go to Twitter, obviously you all know my Twitter here. This is where I tweet all my stuff out on here. So, you know, normal stuff on the Twitters. There's my account if you're wondering. Um, Facebook, that's more of a personal thing. I don't really put that out on YouTube, but I do use Facebook sometimes. Um, and my folder here, uh, just mainly all the apps and stuff that I don't really use that I should delete, but I don't because I don't know why. And just apps I don't use too often, like Speed Test, PayPal, Uber, which, yes, I do have a car, but, you know, I don't have my license yet. Hopefully, I'll be getting my license on Wednesday, though. But um, the PlayStation app, the Rotate and Flip app, Cloud Convert, which is basically a cloud service for converting files on the go, iMovie, which I don't really use anymore, but, hey, it's good to have just in case, and the Feedback app, because I do have the profile here installed for the software updates for no software updates all right guys it's pretty much it for me to say about what's on my iphone i know this was a bit of a quick and fast paced video but i just wanted to get this out there and hopefully the next time you see a what's on my iphone video maybe just maybe i'll have the newest iphone um no surprises there but well actually that is kind of a surprise um i won't go too far into detail about that because that's gonna be a while from now but hey maybe enough changes will come by within the next months and the next time you see this you'll see the newest iphone and uh, probably not the edition but like the 8 plus or maybe a 7 plus who knows it'll be a new iphone it'll be a different one i know that much so thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed and go ahead and follow my twitter and instagram if you'd like it is at the apple buyer no spaces will be in the left corner of the video or actually let's, let's how about how about we do this it's in the right corner of the video since the iphone is here so it'll be in the right corner of the video again thank you for watching and peace